good morning guys welcome back to my youtube channel the first thing we are going to do today is apply castor oil all over my face so that's what i'm doing here that is pure castor oil then the second step that i'm going to do is to apply a primer and i'm using the maybelline luminous primer that's their fit me luminous primer and it just leaves you with a dewy finish the next step which is step number three that i'm doing is my brows and i'm just going to apply a, a, a bronzer on my brows just to dry up the area so that it's not oily and then step number four i'm going to apply that pencil which is a black pencil it's i don't know the brand i think it's just like a generic black pencil so i'm just applying it and i'm also going to like draw hairs because i have to fill in my brows basically and then i'm going to use an eyebrow wax to make sure that the brows stay in place and that's step number four this eyebrow wax that i'm using is by the brand pastel and it is in the shade dark brown so i think i'd have done better with, a sh with the shade black because dark brown usually just doesn't suit my face and then the step number five that we are going to do is we are applying uh, a concealer and the concealer that we've just used is the illegal pro conceal concealer in the shade fawn that's the one i've used to define my brows the one i'm applying on my eyes is also a concealer but that's the maybelline fit me concealer and i'm using concealer as my primer for my eyeshadow so after i've applied the maybelline fit me concealer the shade uh the shade for the maybelline fit me was caramel i've applied a really pale brown eyeshadow that almost matches that concealer shade all over my eyes the pale brown eyeshadow i applied it all over my eyes and then now i'm going to go in with a golden eyeshadow and that golden eyeshadow i've just applied it in the inner corner of my eyes and also in the center of my eye so it hasn't been applied to the outer corner of my eye and then we are doing our eyeliner and to line my waterline i am using a maybelline um eyeliner that is their colossal uh, no their argan oil kajal that's the one i used to apply on my waterline and then now this one that i'm using to draw a wing a tiny tiny wing is by the brand note so i don't know whether we've reached step number eight yeah i think so definitely we are now going to um step number eight which is concealer now for the concealer we are applying the revlon concealer this is their photo insta photo concealer in the shade medium it's a very very light shade um this particular concealer didn't have a wide range of colors so i just took like the one that's nearest to my skin tone which was medium and then now i'm going to apply a blush and i'm using the usual crayola blush and that's the shade strawberry i've applied it where blush goes basically and then we are on step number 10 and we are applying the highlighter which is also by Revlon, which is the photo ready highlighter. And then now we are applying the setting powder to set my concealer, the concealer that I applied. So the setting powder that I'm using is by Black Up Pearl just to offset the excess brightness under my eyes. And that's their shade medium. And then we are applying a Revlon Photo Candid Foundation. And that's the shade number 510 can't remember the name of the shade but i do remember the number it was 510 normally i use pecan which is 520 but right now i chose to use this one because it matches my neck best 520 matches my skin on my face but 510 matches the skin on my neck so you can always decide which one to choose whether you're going to match your neck or you're going to match your face and then I've just applied a generic brown uh, lip liner all over my lips. And then now I'm going to apply this red, lips, red lipstick by Maybelline. And this is their shade. I believe it is. I'm going to insert the name of the shade somewhere in this video. I believe we are even on to step number 15. There are so many steps when you're doing makeup. But... Next time, I will remember the order. 
and then now we are on to step number 16 and i'm going to take a bronzer and contour my nose i would have preferred to contour my nose before i did my makeup but i tend to forget to contour it and i always remember towards the end of the makeup so i'm using the makeup revolution mega bronzer in the shade dark and that's the one i've tried to contour my nose i know the lines up here crooked but it's because i broke my nose when i was young so they'll never be straight now i'm just going to remove the excess black opal powder that i applied on to set my concealer then i'm going to fill in the rest of my face with the same same black opal powder uh, finishing powder so i'm going to apply that powder all over my face using a brush and I think we're almost through with the makeup. The only thing remaining is highlighter. And for highlighter, I'm going to use the NYX Illuminating High Glass, I believe. And this is the shade Golden Hour. And I am obsessed with this highlighter. It will definitely be repurchased because it just does not look fake. It looks very natural. Then finally, I'm going to use setting powder. And I'm using the Maybelline setting powder just because I have it. And this is the final look, guys. Tell me what you think. I think this is a very classic look. It's not a modern look. And at the same time, it never goes out of fashion. So it's just a classic makeup look.